Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this one I'll be making a built-in bay window seat. It'll be made out of MDF and hardwood ply. This is going to be a painted project with a bunch of inbuilt storage. So stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. Here you can see the temporary solution my customer had in this spot before contacting me to build this unit. And you can see it really doesn't fit the contours of the wall very well. So I went to site and made a quick template of the space as well as picking up all the existing materials that my customer wanted to reuse for this project. First I put together a base for the carcass to sit on. Then I routed out the bottom of the unit using the template that I had made in my customer's space. After that it was on to cutting the two sides and the four dividers laying out and starting to assemble the carcass using screws. Now I'm just putting in the supports on this middle drawer space and this is one of the few times where I will use a pocket screw joint and I'll just mark out where I want to put them so that they'll miss those screws. So this is the jig I'll be using to cut the pocket holes. I don't use this joint a lot like I said so I haven't bothered to buy a Craig jig. But here's the lines that we marked out and I've got a center line on my pocket hole jig so I'll just line that up, clamp it down and drill them out with a doweling bit with a little stop on it. Easy as that. Okay, I've got this joint sorted, ready to go together, and obviously the only reason it's there is because this bay window seat is longer than your standard sheet of MDF, so I've had to make a little, little joint at the end here. I've got three dominoes in, and then I've put in four pocket holes, two on each side, just for ease of clamping really, because it's going to be a bit tough to get any clamps on there. I just thought I'd go with the pocket hole method. Made these three dominoes just out of MDF.
So you just saw me run this end bit over the planer to get it flush with the rest of the piece. And now we can use the template that I made at the client's house to route out this whole thing with a flush trim bit. Put some double sided tape on there now. Time to flip it over and get it lined up and stick it down. Easy as that. Now we can just pop off the template from the double sided tape. And I know that that piece will fit perfectly into the bay window area of my customer's house. So I've cut these two pieces here. There's gonna be a little lip on the front of this to keep the cushion from moving around at all. Gotta have a join in there somewhere. So I'm gonna do two dominoes close together so the holes will overlap and will end up with one big domino in the center. Okay, so I've got this single domino joint clamped together. I just clamped on some blocks on either side of the joint so that I can get some clamps on there. And then I've got one in the middle just to keep everything flat as well. So I'll let that sit up for an hour or so and then I can machine it flat again. Just picked up this sheet of hardwood ply and I'm gonna use this for the interior of all the drawers just because I think it's gonna look a whole lot better than having painted MDF on the interiors as well as wearing a lot better as well. Okay, all the pieces for the drawers are finished up. I've got the two front and backs for each drawer, the bottoms, and then the sides over there. Now I'm just gonna sand everything with the orbital sander and then we can assemble it all. Just putting together the drawers now and it's a very simple way I've done this I've just got a groove in all of these side pieces with a stopped groove on the front and back here so that you don't see that coming through the front and then that just accepts the bottom piece here this will be the front here and that's the back so all I'm doing is screwing from this side and then once the drawer front is on there which will be painted MDF you won't see any of the screws from the side when you pull the drawer out so that's the way I'm doing these and let's finish them off. Just installed the first drawer with the push to open slides. Fits nice, so I'll show you how I do it. I've just got a little packet here, then the slides can sit right on top. And all I need to do is line these up with the front and then mark off the holes, drill them out, and screw it in. These 
packers go underneath the drawer just to give it a little bit of clearance when you're pulling it in and out. Now we just need to line up this inner slide with the front of the drawer. And then using a sharp pencil, just need to trace those lines out onto the drawer. And then we can use a square to transfer that line all the way down the drawer and be nice and parallel with these slides. On this middle drawer, I've just made a slightly thicker packer than I used on the outside drawers. And that's just to keep the fixing screws from colliding with each other in the middle. And it's such a small difference, it's not really something anyone will ever notice and it won't be an issue. Got the first door installed on one of the ends of the unit with the push to open feature. Works very smoothly, so time to get the second one in. Got this door sized up and ready to go, so now it's time to mark out and attach the hinges. Here I'm just using a story stick to transfer the hinge locations onto the carcass and I'm just using the bottom edge of the carcass and the door as a common reference point. Second door is installed and working smoothly. And the next step is to fit the drawer fronts on the drawers. For the most part this unit is finished now, just need to pull everything apart, sand everything, then we can get on to painting and oiling. The only thing left to make is a little toe kick to go underneath there, but everything else is done really. I like to give the workshop a decent clean before I start any finishing process, just to prevent any kicked up dust from settling on the components when they're drying. Everything's sanded now, so I'm just about to start putting a coat of primer on the doors and the drawer fronts, and then I'll also do a coat of oil on the drawers. In the workshop today, I've actually had a week off due to injury. My ankle was busted, so haven't really been able to walk so well for the past week. But I'm back into it now, gonna start doing a coat of primer on everything, and then I'll do another coat of oil on the drawers as well. Let's get into it.
super happy with the finish I've been able to achieve on the first coat of paint. Everything's looking really nice and uniform. So we'll get on to the second coat later on. I gave all the parts a light sanding with 240 grit just to knock down the high spots, which will really improve the quality on any painted finish. And then it was on to the next coat. All the parts have had their final coat now. Time for assembly and then I'll take it to site for install. I think this unit turned out great and my client was super happy as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.